in our last video we defined the architecture of our report we define our data layer domain layer and presentation layer okay? inside data layer we divided three parts data source model and repository and our domain layer we define entity repository and inside presentation layer we divide into three parts first one was the blog second one was the pages inside our project and the last one would be visit where we put all the common components in this lecture what we will do in basically in this lecture we will define we will start writing codes on our domain layer and we complete the domain layer in this video okay so let's start creating the our first entity that is mean so we have this api to get all the mean from the server okay for that you can see that it will return a response like this Success that will be true, and the list data will be stored in list of new objects. Okay, so now we will define our entity. Inside our entity, we have a seven or eight ID name you are in this high box of the section. So we will not use caption field as of now because this is not required. So let's define. I already created this entity and defined it. Okay. Now comes on repository part. We will create our interface for our repository. So I rename it as a new repository dot dot. Let's define our object class new repository. Okay. Here we will declare our first method that would be get mean. Okay, and the return type would be user of either it will return uh, it will return either failure either failure or or mean type of it. Okay, we can import this from our entity, and the either data type will come from a dart package. You have to install this package inside a pop dot ml file. I already have this package. Okay. Now, what we have to do? We have to define our failure object. So let's come on core part and define a folder called here the folder called Error. Okay. Inside error, let's define a file name failure dot dot. Let's create our class failure. Okay. And create a constant constructor of our class failure that will just take one parameter as a matrix. Okay. Now define a fail of our class that would be nullable in the Fail number matrix. Okay, fine. Let's import this. Fine. So we created interface for our project at a domain layer that is main repository. And as of now, inside our interface, we have one method that is get main, and it will return either failure, and we will get our main list of main actually. This would be list of main. Okay. So either we will get Failure from by calling this method, or we will get our list of new objects. Fine. Now we will define our use case. So as of now, we define we will define our use case that would be get new. So let's define it class get new. Okay. So as you know that by calling any use case, what we can expect? We have to provide some parameters. Okay, and uh, we have to. We can expect something that can be returned from that particular use case. So let's define a common use case file inside our core file. It's as a accept file. Let's define it. As an interface here also we will define it. Let's define a folder called 
this will return either we are expecting that we will get either failure or we will get a list of name of it. Okay. To so use this, we are defined our use case that is get name. Inside get name, we implement our common use case that will take that will take a no parameters for calling the API or API method which are required because we do not need to pass any parameters. That's why we use this class no parameters. Which we define inside our code, and we are expecting that this use case will return a list of new methods. Okay, we override our call method which define inside the use case, and call the required method from our domain web repository. So yeah, that's it for this video. In the upcoming video, what we will do? Basically, in the upcoming video, we will start writing our data layer, where we will define our model. Report the key information and the actual API calling inside the main data source. So yeah, that's it for this video. I hope it's clear for you. Thank you.